What up, Naughty Steppers? It's Connor Whitmore here again with another review for you on the Naughty Step channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new EP from Somnium Sound, released on Never Say Die's black label, Bloomkeeper. Now, I don't know his name, but let's call him Mr. Sound. Mr. Sound is a dubstep producer from the Bay Area and currently based in LA who has made a name for himself as one of underground dubstep's finest up-and-comers. Renowned for his part in the famed track Angel Style alongside Sudden Death, released on the Bygore sub-label Fresh Blood, as well as the VIP of that original. Not to mention their other collaboration Marauders, released on Sudden Death's Spelljam EP, you can say they've somewhat risen up through the ranks together. He has also worked with Ganon and the legends that are Bar 9 for their respective Never Say Die EPs. So over the last couple of years he has been slowly but surely getting his name out there. His track Fate and Fortune was probably my favourite from the latest Fresh Blood compilation. He also has several Never Say Die singles and remixes to his name, but Bloomkeeper represents his first ever full EP and what better place to show everyone his sound than the Black Label. The label arguably at the forefront of the dubstep scene when it comes to showcasing new talent that not too many know too much of. And in many respects I think this collection is a very free-spirited and ambitious project. This is most evident in the drops which on the whole are very effective through the consistency in their sound yet simultaneous drive to keep things varied. By this I mean establishing a theme through the sounds used, an easy point of reference for the listener, whilst taking these effects through multiple mutations to ensure that the flair is maintained. The first drop of the EP in Devil alongside Jet Set, which before I proceed I must say is an awesome collaboration that I would never have seen coming in a million years, is very bullish and powerful with this really striking interjecting appeal to it, the emphasis of which is never lost as more and more stuff is brought in. With the odd brief moment here and there where everything collides in this really organic way, making a method out of the madness. Moreover, the way the second drop melts in, with that momentary delay before slamming back in with those stop-start jabs works really well. The period from 3 minutes 17 to 3 minutes 29 is especially flowery, with these little quips and jumps in tempo that give a necessary flash to the track overall. I must say I come out of this one thinking these two have brought some really good ideas to the table and made them cohere. The title track then takes the EP down a wholly different route with a laser infused drop that is probably the most outstandingly rhythm track of the four. I enjoy the moment 54 seconds in with that invasive multi-laser zap. And at 1 minute and 1 second in where there are plenty of appropriate tiny additions. I'm also digging the way the sounds become more metallic in their progression, with their layout going from up and down to more staggered and considered. It's a nice development. The general experimentation with note placement here, which stretches into the second drop, is just really clever and well thought out. In the second drop, the interruption at 2 minutes and 6 seconds in is really well posited. And those mind-melting triplet blasts are another moment of variety that just add to the story of this track. It's in the third track, Masterpiece, that the acidic and metallic features of Somnium Sound style really come to the fore, uh, transitioning seamlessly from the basic to the more complex in terms of sound. With this faster paced section, squeezing way more in, shedding new light on these sounds, more evidence of expert note placement. Moreover, the second drop adopts some neat changes to make it more frisky and flavoursome, an evolution from the first really. The progression here being a topsy-turvy whirlwind section that varies things up once more, he just knew exactly what to do here. But in saying all of this I arrive at one of my main points with this EP, which is that these drops have their more impactful parts, but others that just fall short somewhat in that sense. For example with the Jet Set collaboration, for the most part I do enjoy it, 
but the progressions to each drop are a little less exciting than the bulks of them. Droning on slightly in the repetition of that main sound, to the extent that it risks seeming overdone, the variation is very strong in this EP, but could have been used to good effect here. And in both Bloomkeeper and Masterpiece, whilst I think the drop ideas to these tracks are adventurous and sprightly, there's something about the force of the overall sound that doesn't quite smack me in the face. It's almost as if there's such an intense concentration on the relationship between the overlaying sounds that he forgot to flesh them all out. Maybe there isn't enough weight to the percussion, but I've tried listening to these tracks at higher volumes, and I still don't feel completely compelled to move. The flip side of this being that these sounds, the majority of which are very well assembled, are open for further appreciation. Another point of interest for me here with Somnium Sounds 3 tracks are the introductions which are mystifying both for the good and the not so good. Starting with the not so good, in the title track a multitude of unusual sounds are brought together, setting a scene that is reaching for something but I can't quite tell what it is. It has atmospheric jungly sounds, mechanical sounds, all over a backdrop that just seems a little unsure of what it wants to do exactly. See, it's tense, but like, where am I? It returns at the culmination, and normally with sequences like this, you have an understanding of where it's fading off to, but I don't really get anything with this one. On the contrary, I feel a bit weird listening to it. Following right after that, however, we are welcomed by the prospect of a new dawn in what is a very intriguing opening few seconds to Masterpiece. With muffled strings and piano, the latter being used in isolation not long after, its lack of genuine direction giving a sense that not all is right, uh, that disorder will prevail. Moreover, the isolation of the piano at the end, slowing down to a standstill, is a really nice touch as we realise that Somnium Sound's work here is done in preparation for the remix from Lux, which I will get to in a minute. Because I can't proceed without discussing the intro to the opener and collaboration with Jet Set. And I've talked of how I really enjoyed the drops in this tune for the most part, but they would be nothing without the platform provided by this epic introduction. Misty and foggy with these low violin sounds creeping in, wave noises in the background, shimmering notes floating to the top, it paints a really smooth picture. An alarming siren and kick revealing this land of devastation, it's very moody and orchestral. The percussion that's introduced could be seen as a little abrasive, but I think it lends a much needed modernity to what has been quite an ancient seeming opening up until that point. I think it's also worth talking about the vocal sample usage in this EP, all classically dark and horror inspired, fitting for music of this kind. Yet without a truly scary or frightening vibe to them, some vocal samples you hear and you're right there with that figure, but these aren't quite as captivating, again fitting, but nothing extraordinary. I did like how the sample from the title track extends into the drop from the build though, I thought that was really well done, even if I'm not entirely sure what's being said here. An aspect of that song that Lux deploys abundantly in his remix of it, the fourth and closing track to the EP. With that sample functioning in the background, this remix uses the synths from the original very well, albeit in a more stop-start manner. Incorporating the twangs, oozy effects and intricate percussion, all of which is very well distributed, it never feels like there's too much going on. It also stays true to the high levels of variety on show in the previous three tracks, the second drop seemingly concentrating everything from the first into one smaller section. What I enjoy most about this remix, however, is its build, potentially my favourite on the EP. These fruity, animated, robotic sounds that just ricochet off each other really nicely, becoming jumpier and more playful over time. Just really lovely sounds. <laughs>
A colourful ending to what is a very solid debut multi-track project from Somnium Sound. An EP which I think works better when there's more going on, uh, with more of the available space being filled if you would. Going from brimming with life and quality to other moments that don't carry as much, but I'd say there's definitely more of the former. And this is something that will do him a lot of good being in and amongst this absolute swathe of up and coming dubstep producers. This is how he will stand out. A real accuracy and pinpointedness to his production that I wouldn't say is matched by many others within that particular scene. As I said, a few of the ideas could have been a little more refined at points, but this is something that will improve over time. The signs are there. As an extension of this point, he's also got one of the more considered, planned and carefully thought out modern dubstep styles. Again, something that will stand him in good stead going into the future, amidst everyone else trying to tread a similar path. As I said at the start, so far he's been catering mostly to the underground dubstep scene, but he could take his sound further into the mainstream in the near future. His music will naturally get more ambitious beyond the rhythm structure, which could lead to releases for the likes of the Never Say Die main label, Disciple, Bygore, who knows. Now in terms of a favourite from this EP, then I think I would have to go with the collaboration with Jet Set, Devil. A collaboration that I never thought would happen, but which actually produced a really good result. The intro is epic, the drop is savage, some really good combinations of sounds here. Surprisingly rare for a collaboration, but there's a definite chemistry between these two. And in terms of a recommendation, if you enjoyed this EP, then I would say check out Sudden Death, Yax and Zabor. And so that is that for another review on the Naughty Step channel, this time of Somnium Sound's new EP, Bloomkeeper, released on Never Say Die's Black Label. Thank you very much, and as always, for tuning in. Be sure to leave a comment with your thoughts on Bloomkeeper. What did you guys make of it? Do you have a favourite track of the four? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hitting that notification bell along the way so you can be notified whenever I upload to the Naughty Step channel. Next to my head, there should be some other Black Label reviews from the channel, so if you enjoyed this one, then be sure to check those out too. And don't forget to like and follow Naughty Step across all social media if you haven't already. With everything linked, including those recommendations, in the description box down below. And lastly, if it's naughty, then you know guys, so be sure as always to keep it naughty and stay safe. And I shall see you all in the next one. Peace out.